I'm on tour with a band and in the program there are two songs where I have the opportunity to improvise over a minor four chord. The chord progression in one of those songs is as follows. It's an A major, it's a B minor, it's an A over C sharp and a D minor 6. The fourth chord on a fourth degree is a D minor 6 scale and here we use a D Dorian scale. We could use a D melodic minor scale but this is another video. We uh, use the Dorian scale here in this video. Fundamentally, I am here in the A major scale and I have practiced uh, the scale so often that I don't have to think about it. But uh, at one point, I have to play a D Dorian scale. So I have to find a transition between those two scales. I have to switch from the A major scale to the D Dorian scale. So how can we do that? The transition from the A major scale to the D Dorian scale is relatively easy. You only need to switch two scales. Check out your A major scale at one point on the fretboard and then try to find the next D Dorian scale at in the same area of your fretboard. And then you have two scales you can uh, switch and this is the first thing you can practice for a while. <laughs> When you have all the scales and you know where they are, you can try some triads. Um, you can try the D minor uh, triad and add maybe a 9, because the 9 is a nice color tone in the Dorian scale. When you add a 6 or uh, an 11 to your triad, you also have more color here in the Dorian scale. So you can do so much things with the scale and the triads and some color tones. So this is a nice sound. So this gives you the chance to find some licks because, you know, I can show you licks, but I think it it's always a little bit tricky because it puts you into a cage. Sometimes for me it sounds not natural to, to, to play those licks that you have learned and uh, I think it's better most of the time to learn the system and find your own licks and your own way through the scale and the sound. A consistently tricky part is when you come back from the Dorian scale and you try to get the resolution into the A major scale. Um, and there you can use triads too. Find an A major triad and maybe you could focus on the third, the third interval of, of A major. This is always a good note to end on. try to link those scales together, the major scale and the Dorian scale, wherever I am on the fretboard. So for the beginning you have to think very much. You have to think about the scales, you have to think about the intervals, the, the triads and all that stuff. That's, that's so much stuff. But after practicing for some time, you more and more switch off your brain. And this is the point where it's uh, getting really interesting because you start to listen. And you start to listen to the other people around you, the, the musicians when you play with a band. And you can focus on other things. And um, it gets really interesting when you are on this point because you can really try to find good melodies or good rhythm and uh, your timing gets better. And this is the point where we want to get to. And um, I'm sure 
uh, this will happen after practicing for some time. At the end of the video you will find the track from the beginning without my guitar, so you can improvise uh, yourself over those chords. And when you are a subscriber to my Patreon channel, you will get all the files for free, the jam track and the PDFs and all the stuff. When you are not a subscriber, you can buy the stuff also there in the shop. So thank you very much for watching. Please come back to my YouTube channel. Please push the button, subscribe and the bell and come back to my channel. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.